And I am here with an amazing man, Hussein Basir, who's the director of antiquities here at the museum and the library of Alexandria. Thank you so much for giving me part of your time. Thank you so much for coming. It's a great pleasure to have you here. Yes, thank you. So um, how long has the new library of Alexandria been up? Yeah, the library was open back in 2002. It's almost like uh, 20 years. Next year will okay. be 20 years. So nice. it's, uh, it's a great achievement to the Egyptian government since then until now. Nice. Um, the design is really interesting, the design of the building. Was the design of the building influenced by the original library or what was the influence behind the design? Yeah, it's, uh, it's very close to the old one, but really it's, uh, it's amazed by the new uh, sun and the rays of the sun to nice. give the idea that the sun is coming out of probably uh, the sea or so to give idea about uh, yeah. no, uh, knowledge and now can knowledge received from other sources. Nice. So how many, uh, approximately how many books and how many pieces of art and antiquity are in the library and in the museum? Yeah, in the museum here we have around like 12, uh, 1200 pieces mm -hmm. uh, from different uh, periods of ancient Egypt, uh, Greco-Roman Egypt, uh, Byzantine Egypt, Coptic Egypt, Islamic, modern Egypt. So it's uh, like in a nutshell you can see the whole history of Egypt nice. from the beginning up till now in almost like five, uh, uh, five minutes. Nice. And how large is, uh, how many books are approximately? Uh, here in the library we have millions, but the old one has uh, had around uh, uh, 700,000 uh, okay. manuscripts, but nowadays we have like almost like millions yeah. of books. How many of the books were, I, so I heard like uh, that not all of the books in the fire were burnt, some were saved, and also heard that there were additional books down in the catacombs. Um, how many of those original manuscripts are in the library today? Oh, so you mean the old ones you, you talk about? Yeah. We have the new ones, but the old ones, as you know, the whole library burns gone yeah. burn by like uh, by around I think uh, 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 forty-eight BC during this war between Julius Caesar and yeah. uh, Pompey. Yeah. So nothing remaining from the original. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but as you know, we did the new one just to, to renew the old one. Yeah. And nowadays the new one it's. Um, more than perfect and that, yeah. you know, it's uh, appreciated by everybody yeah, across yeah. the world and also continues the same message which is all one has. It's to spread wisdom and knowledge. Yes, yes, you're right. Yeah, and, and I like the fact that you guys set it up to receive light because um, wisdom is light. So you're receiving light from the sun and giving the light of knowledge and giving yes. the light of information. Back to everybody. Back to everybody else. In Egypt and all over the world. And Beautiful. This is the message of the light. Beautiful. Um, what attracted you to this line of, um, of work? As you know, I was uh, born in the Egyptian Delta in the city called Mendes, and Mendes was the capital of Egypt during the uh, 29th dynasty, and I was amazed by visiting these sites. You said I, Memphis? Me, no, it's Mendes. Mendes, okay. Yeah, when I was young, it's in the Delta. Memphis nice. is uh, oh, yeah. close in the Delta. Yes. Yeah. So, and uh, as you, you may imagine I used to go to the Egyptian Museum in Cairo and yeah. I was yeah, I love fascinated that museum. by people who were reading hieroglyphs yeah. and when I finished my high school I decided to study archaeology and Egyptology I was the only one who chose this to study yes. Egyptology and archaeology at uh, Cairo University and afterwards I, I left to Oxford, the University of Oxford in England, and yeah. then to University of Johns Hopkins yeah. in Baltimore, Maryland, and then I was also visiting professor at the University of Arizona in Tucson, mm -hmm. and really I lived the good days and good times in America. Yeah, which color? We know about, you know, that's a party school back in Cal in, in Arizona, University of Arizona. It's one of the biggest party schools yes, in all of America. Yes, uh, yeah. uh, it's <laughs> over there. It's a big one. Yeah. Hopkins, we were almost like 4,000. 1,000 grad and then undergrad almost 3,000 so it was very it's a private school and it was very not that uh, many in terms of numbers nice so um, what would you like a lot of people asking me who want to get into archaeology who want to get into this field who want to be part of digs who want to be uh, who want to be part of discovering antiquities and preserving antiquities what advice would you give them you have to love archaeology it's yeah. not easy mission yeah, yeah but it's it's a tough uh, truth. Yeah, it's a tough project, tough uh, ambition, tough uh, career, whatever you call it. But you have to love it, 
to like carry this mission in a very lovely way and you have Togetherness Media. Togethernessmedia.com.